Hi, this is Dave Curtis with Lance's Products. Today we want to do a small short tutorial video on how to properly burp a gauge, whether it be liquid filled or dry gauge, and the reason why uh, that this process is necessary. Knowing that gauges have, uh, whether they're liquid filled or dried, have an atmospheric pressure built up inside of the casing. If that pressure changes, it actually can change the accuracy of the gauge and not allow the gauge to either zero out or if the uh, pressure is reduced at a steep rate, it can also pin the needle down to where, again, the gauge is not going to be reading accurately. So here we want to walk through the steps and show you a gauge that is not zeroing out and how to properly uh, burp the gauge to make sure that you can get the gauge to zero out and be more accurate in its reading. Here we have a 0 to 10 retarded to 30 gauge that is not quite completely zeroed out that needs to have the pressure reduced in that uh, casing. So I want to walk you through the steps of how to gently do this and be able to get this thing to zero back out. So now that we've seen that we've got the gauge that is a little bit over pressure and needs to be zeroed back out, basically you're going to take the gauge, lay it face down, take a small flat end screwdriver. You're going to reach underneath of the rubber gasket to the rear of the uh, chamber or rear of the casing. Some of them actually have them to the top and you could burp that as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to release the pressure just gently pushing that back. Sometimes you'll have the glycerin that will uh, come and spill out a little bit. It can make a little bit of a mess but it's not too bad. So releasing your pressure cap off of the back of the casing, pushing it back in nice and firm. Other than that, just wipe off the glycerin fill. And as you can see, we're now back to zero on our reading on our gauge. Again, this can be done for any of the ranges of the pressure gauges. It usually affects the lower pressure rating, 0 to 10, 0 to 15. Those are usually more affected. And it doesn't matter if it's altitude change that can change the pressure, temperature change, hot and cold can change the pressure. Uh, you also need to realize that this is something that needs to be done on vacuum gauges. Vacuum gauges under that uh, same atmospheric pressure change can actually pin the needle tight against the uh, post to where it's not going to read accurately as well. Most all of the gauges we provide here are liquid filled and they do have the uh, rubber plug gasket that you can burp the gauge. Just again remember have your rubber gasket lay it flat or firm or tilt it to the top side to where you're not going to have uh, a big mess with fluid coming out and then uh, once you get done burping it go ahead and push that back in real nice and firm and clean and you can definitely tell the difference. One thing I do want to note that this process that we're talking about, uh, being able to burp a gauge and the reason for burping the gauges, we actually do have uh, a spec sheet on our website. And if you go onto the website, it will not only tell you the reason why, but it will actually walk you through the processes. So please go to www.lancis.com uh, and you'll find this in the uh, videos and downloads tab uh, for your access. Products. Uh, through some of the training videos that we've done, we want to make sure that you take note to follow all safety precautions and procedures when handling pipe plugs or pipe testing equipment. Make sure you're also following any regulations, whether it be uh, city, state, or county, and follow the guidelines of your confined space entries. So thank you again for taking the time to watch our video, and we look forward to you having a safe day and completing your project correctly.